Hello and welcome to the introduction of Scripting Tracker, a development tool for SAP GUI scripting. My name is Stefan Schnell. In the following presentation I will give you a short introduction to Scripting Tracker and I will demonstrate you a few examples. Scripting Tracker is a utility to support your SAP GUI scripting development. Scripting Tracker offers therefore two components, an analyzer and a recorder. With the analyzer component you can identify each scripting object with a red frame on the SAP GUI for Windows. This functionality is equal to the SAP GUI scripting wizard. In addition the analyzer shows a lot of technical details of the scripting object like ID, position and so on. It shows all scripting objects in a well arranged tree and it works with Windows 7 and higher. With the recorder component you can record and replay your SAP GUI for Windows activities equal to the SAP GUI scripting recorder. In addition the recorder offers an integrated basic editor. With that you have the full visual control about the generated code, the possibility to enrich the generated code automatically with additional information and beside VBScript support of different scripting engines like AutoIt, MiniRobot and PowerShell. Scripting Tracker optimizes your development process with SAP GUI scripting. It offers new horizons of integration between an SAP system and your presentation server. It brings you one step closer in independence and increases your efficiency with SAP GUI scripting. And now the demonstration of three examples. In the first example I will show you the standard functionalities of the SAP GUI scripting wizard and recorder. At first an SAP GUI on Windows XP and then with an SAP GUI on Windows 7 to show the small difference. Here we use the actual SAP GUI for Windows 730 on a Windows XP system. We see the Windows version in a command line window. On the SAP session we choose the button Local Layout and the menu item Script Development Tools. And now asks me the wizard what to do. We choose Perform a hit test on the window and press the OK button. Now we move with the mouse pointer over the SAP GUI session and see with a red frame the identified scripting object. From the scripting object we see in the detail window of the wizard the type, name and subtype. With the button copy ID we copy the technical ID to the clipboard. Now I paste it in notepad and you see the complete technical name of this scripting object. With stop and close we end the SAP GUI scripting wizard. Now we choose the button local layout again and the menu item scripting recording and playback. Now we press the button more to change the path and name of the SAP GUI script file.
we record a script and do something, e.g. start the transaction SE16. This is a data browser. Now we stop the recording and take a look at the script. This is a normal script file and now you have the possibility to edit and replay the script with the SAP GUI scripting recorder. And now we look at the local layout menu on an SAP GUI on Windows 7. We didn't find the menu item Script Development Tools. You have no chance to identify any scripting object here. Microsoft stops with Windows 7 the delivery of the agents, also known as wizards. But the SAP scripting tools need the agents. Therefore the SAP stops with the SAP GUI for Windows 7.20 patch level 9 also the support of uh, the PGUI scripting tools on Windows 7. Scripting Tracker works on Windows XP and on Windows 7 platform without any problems. In the second example I will show you the analyzer component of Scripting Tracker. We open Scripting Tracker and press the scan button in the toolbar. Now Scripting Tracker scans all scripting objects of all open sessions with enabled SAP GUI scripting. We see in the tree of scripting objects one node. This is the open session. So we activate this node and we see the technical details. The ID, the text, here the name of the window, the type, the name, here position and size, the handle and a few other informations. The ID of the scripting object can be copied to the clipboard with this button. So I will paste it now and you see how we paste it here. That the ID is copied to the clipboard. If we open the node, we see the structure of the session. It is possible with Scripting Tracker to identify the scripting objects with a right mouse click on the node in the tree. Here the toolbar. You see in the background the open session and the red frame around the first toolbar. The title. The next toolbar. The user screen. And the status bar. Now we open the hierarchy of the toolbar and choose a button. You see many buttons. We choose the last one. It is the customized local layout. So this one. So we press the right button. You see it's the red frame. And you see here tooltip, so if we activate this window, this is the same text as you see here in the tooltip, and we see the icon number of the toolbar.
there is another way to identify the scripting objects. We choose the session window to analyze the scripting objects and press the identify button. Now we have the same functionality as the SAP scripting development tools. We move the mouse pointer to the session window. The scripting object under the mouse pointer is selected with a red frame. The object in the tree was changed and we see the technical details. Here we see from the business workplace the control or from the toolbar 1 the last button and so on. Scripting Tracker's Analyzer component gives you the possibility to see all details of all scripting objects of all sessions. It helps you to get an overview and to find the object fast you need. In the third example I will show you the recorder component of Scripting Tracker. We open Scripting Tracker and press the scan button. Now Scripting Tracker scans all open sessions with enabled SAP GUI scripting. We open the combo box and choose a session we want. Now you see the SAP session window is in foreground. We press the button Record SAP GUI script and do something in the session. We open the data browser with transaction code SE16 and view the table USR01 and view the content of the table. Now we stop the recording and we find the complete SAP GUI activities as VB script code in the editor. To see if it works, we press the button Playback Script. Now look at the session in the background. I'll do it again. It's very fast, but you see it works. With Scripting Tracker it is possible to use different scripting engines. VB Script via VB Script Control or Windows Scripting Host, AutoIt, Mini Robot and PowerShell. In this example we work with Theo Gottwald's Mini Robot. Scripting Tracker adds necessary code automatically to use the script with SAP GUI scripting. To get the full script we press the keys Alt and I on the keyboard. Here you see the complete mini robot scripting code. In the next example we do the same with AutoIt scripting engine. We press the button Record SAP GUI script and do something in the session. We open the data browser with the transaction code SE16. And View the content of the table USR01 again. Now we stop the recording and find the complete SAP GUI activities as AutoIt code in the editor. To see if it works, we insert a special comment like message box. 
and then we run the script again. Now we press the button playback script. You see the script runs in the background and the message box shows the auto it version we are using. Another feature of scripting tracker is the additional information in the source. We press the button and record a script again. Now we stop the recording. You see the code has now some additional information about the transaction, the title of the window, the Dime Pro, here program name and screen number, and the session number. Scripting Tracker's recorder component gives you the possibility to record and replay your SAP GUI activities with different scripting engines. It offers you new integration horizons and optimizes your development process with SAP GUI scripting. Thank you very much for your attention.